Starting off, we have Kyber AI. To explain what it does, well, it can do this, or this, or this. And here are some other examples from the community. It's exactly the tool you need if you're editing a music video or just need to spice up your videos with some effects without spending too much time on them. And Kyber has a few different modes, so I'll show you the flipbook example first, which accepts video. So I'll just upload mine here. It's only a few seconds long and this will result in faster processing, but you can upload videos up to one minute in length. Click continue to prompt. And here you can type in how you want your video to look. You also get some suggestions here, but I'll just type in a futuristic cyborg with glowing eyes in the style of 16mm camera footage. Then go to video settings, and I'll leave my strength at 10, but you can lower it if you feel like it. Then click generate previews. And here you basically get four slightly different options to choose from. So I'll select this one and click create video. Just wait a couple of minutes and here you have a freaking amazing looking video. With the motion option you can add movement to your image. The results are pretty solid but it's not as good as the video transform in my opinion. Sometimes it completely changes the image to the point where you can no longer recognize the original. But as you saw you can get some incredible results in just a few clicks. Next up we have Gling and my god if you're not using it you're missing out big time. And here's why. You can just drag in your footage, it transcribes what you're saying and cuts out the bad takes automatically. Then you can export it to your favorite video editor such as Premiere or Final Cut. It's an absolute time saver for YouTube videos or even other types of videos like interviews. You just drop in and just smack the lip, whoopa, drop down. Now of course it doesn't do a perfect job, you get more of a rough cut and you still need to go in, refine the cuts and of course do the rest of the editing. But it saves so much time when you don't need to filter out the bad cuts manually. And of course there are some limitations you should know about. First, the way it cuts out bad takes is just by taking the last take and using it as your best one. This does suit my workflow, but it might not be the best for you. And second, it doesn't work with external audio. If you want the best results, everything has to be baked into one video file. But despite that, it's still an amazing time saver. You get a free trial here and it's only $12 a month after that. Or if you're a YouTuber, you can actually connect your YouTube account to Gling and use it for free. Eleven Labs is a tool that allows you to clone any voice within minutes or even seconds. For example, this is me speaking like Morgan Freeman. Or even Barack Obama. And of course you can clone your voice as well just by giving it a few minute recording of your voice. As you can hear it doesn't pick up accents very well but I'd say my voice is pretty realistic. And the most important thing is that it can show emotion. For example, eh, 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 I'm screaming right now. <laughs> The most important thing is to give this tool a high quality recording of the voice you want to clone. So no background noise and no echo will give you the best results. This could be very useful if you want an epic voiceover for your YouTube videos or if you just mess something up and want to fix it in post. They have a plan for like $1 so you can test it out and it's just 5 bucks after that. So amazing value in my opinion. Now imagine if someone else could edit videos for you. Imagination. I'm talking cutting out bad takes, silences, adding zooms to emphasize what you're saying, and even creating YouTube chapters. Firecut is a plugin for Premiere which can do just that and more with just a click of a button. Let me show you. So I have this clip of me talking on my timeline and I want to remove all of the silences between my takes. I can just open Firecut, select remove silences and click go. And look at this, it deletes all of the quiet sections automatically. I use the basic mode here but you can explore the advanced mode on your own and fine tune the settings. And I'm just reading a script in this video and I know I messed up somewhere and had to repeat some sentences. So instead of going through the whole video manually, I'll open Firecut and click remove repetition. For now I'll use the basic mode and click detect repetition. Wait for it to transcribe the audio and it will find all of the repetitions automatically. You can choose which take to use by clicking here and listening to it. I know my last take is always the best so I'll just click on all of the last takes. 
As you can see, FireCut has even more features such as filler word removal, multi-track editing, and can even transcribe over 50 languages, which Premiere itself can only do like 13. But what I especially like about FireCut is its community. The developer of FireCut is incredibly fast to fix bugs and implement new features. I literally mentioned a feature that would be nice to have, and in less than 24 hours, it was added to the plugin. Absolutely incredible plugin, amazing community, and if you decide to purchase it, you can get 30% off with the discount code STRAIGHT. Next up, we have Mophie. It's basically Premiere's auto remix feature, but on freaking steroids. Mophie allows you to select which parts of the song to extend and which to avoid. For example, I have this song. And it's really high energy for the most part. However, there's this one segment which is quite a bit lower energy. I'll let you listen to it real quick. So in Mophi, I can just label it as avoid this and I'll also label the part which I do like. And it will give me a bunch of remixed options to choose from. I'll also increase the duration of the whole song to let's say 5 minutes. And it does a wonderful job. If you wanted to do this in Premiere, you'd have to extend the song first and then splice the different parts together. Mophi is completely free to use for personal use, but if you want even more settings and options to choose from, they have a plan for $2.99 a month. Personally, I never needed that, but it's there just in case. You'll find all of the links to the tools I talked about in this video in the description. I hope these tools are a good inspiration, so go make something creative and I'll see you next time.